Hi! Welcome to our first installation of Shears and Tears, Adventures with a Seam Ripper. I'm Tara, and um, this is my blog. Um, I am the owner of Iron Orchid Creations, which is a costuming company based out of Lawson, Missouri. Um, I also do occasionally things like aprons and plushies and that kind of stuff too. But primarily my first love is historical costuming. Um, I, I do Renaissance Festival stuff constantly. Um, lots of other stuff too. Um, Victorian, Civil War, superheroes sometimes. Um, so yeah, today we are going to go into the fabric store and go shop for fabrics for a men's uh, pirate shirt as well as a long tunic that I am shipping out to Sweden for a live action role playing game out there. Um, today our primary focus is on how to choose the fabrics for your patterns and um, taking a look at what's a decent pa fabric, what's not, that sort of thing. So um, let's go! Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do is go find the pattern. And um, because on the back of the pattern, it'll tell you everything about, it'll give you suggestions for what kind of fabric you want, as well as how much you need. So that's the first thing we need to do is go find the pattern table and start looking through the books. The pattern table. Here's where you've got all of your books that have every pattern that these companies produce in them. Simplicity, McCall's, Quick Sew, Vogue, Berta. They are all here and are very often on sale, which is part of why we are back here today. Here we're at the patterning table, and um, we're going to look through all of these books. Well, if you don't know what you want, you will. But you're going to look in these books, and they've got all the patterns for the com these various companies in them. And we know what we're looking for, so we just have to find the right page. And there it is. This is the one we're looking for. Simplicity number 3758, right here. It is a sexy pirate shirt, which, you know, all the ladies love, guys, so you should do this thing. So, we're going to go over to the filing cabinets and get 37.58. Now, there are these filing cabinets right next to the pattern table, and they, all of the patterns are in these cabinets. We're looking for simplicity, 37.58. Do, 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 do. It should be in this drawer. And here we have patterns. They are numbered numerically, thank God. So, 3740, 3750, 3758. And here's what we need, right here. Now, the sizes are on top. Here's the number, sizes, company. Here's what the item is. On the back, it'll tell you I don't know if, it can, if you can focus on this or not, but it has yeah. how many yards it needs and what fabrics. This one recommends broadcloth, charmeuse, taffeta, linen, and linen blends, crepe. For our purposes, we don't. you can use other fabrics. This is going to be a warm weather shirt, so we're going to use a lightweight cotton or broadcloth on it. It also tells you what notions you need, what kind, if you need thread, if you need grommets, if you need snaps, buttons, zippers, anything like that. We need, for shirt B, three and three quarters yards of fabric. It's right there, but it's pretty much impossible to read. So, that is what we're looking for. One thing that's often very annoying about some of these places is they rearrange constantly. Drives me insane. Okay, we are looking at broadcloth here. And what we need is, a, it's a very lightweight cotton and is really ideal for undershirts, for chemises and pirate shirts, that kind of thing. Any kind of lightweight stuff that um, isn't going to be beaten about really, really heavily. <laughs> so we need a black right here. And we'll go get some yardage of this. Okay, something to take note of. There are different types of broadcloth, okay? And some have a finer grain than others. For instance, here, I don't know if you can see it on this camera, but we have two different kinds here. This one has a has a rougher grain, and you can it's not as dark. The color is not as rich on this one as it is on this one. And with the sale price, they come out to about the same price, so we're going to go with this one instead that's not on sale. The button wall. And buttons are on sale today. Yep. So, if buttons are on sale, you buy them because buttons are stupidly expensive. Stupid. <laughs> 
Here we go. These are the ones that we need for the LARP tunic. So they are typically $2 for two of them. So we're going to be paying, oh, about, about 25 for each one. So we need six, they have six, it's perfect. Interfacing. If you are making something that requires embroidery, buttons, grommets, anything that is going to punch through the fabric that isn't the needle and thread, you need interfacing. And there are a thousand different kinds. You've got everything from this weird net type stuff to this really, really, really thick, almost wool-like stuff. It can be ironed on, it can be sewn on. There's a lot of different kinds. What we're looking for is kind of a middleweight stabilizing thing because it's gonna go underneath buttons. So it's gotta be able to help the fabric hold up to a little bit of wear and tear where the buttons are gonna be pulling. So we are looking for something similar to, ooh, maybe this one. This is an iron-on. This one could be good. And then the prices and the descriptions are on the ends. So let's see how much this one is. It's $3.49 per yard. We only need about a yard, so we're happy with this. Okay, we are at the cutting table. Now, basically, it's exactly what it sounds like, is you bring the fabric up here, you tell them how much thing you need, and they cut it out for you. Now, the thing is, is we wanted the entire bolt, so we're taking it. One thing that's fantastic is sales. We've got your sales, but then if something's not on sale, almost every fabric store has coupons. And it's always for non-sale items. So if it's something you ha need that is not on sale and you have that coupon that's for 40 or 50% off, buy it. We just got uh, lots of the broadcloth that we needed for half off, almost half off. So we are very, very happy about this. And we are going to take it home and turn it into something cool. Okay, here at the patterning table, what we're going to look, we go into all of these different books and we find the pattern. <laughs> Outstanding.